the second day of January 
to go through the course. But we do. That is, officers found incapable of meeting the requirements as the course progresses were to be withdrawn. It was conducted by a foreign body. As I mentioned earlier, the Joint Intelligence Bureau suggested such a force, such a body, to protect the city of government. The problem of the petitioner started from there. I have listened with all respect all he has said. And I was given one of the exhibits I read. And all I'm trying to say now is in answer to your question, now to start from my first experience of him. If I'm right, my lord. First, during the course, the first friction started as created by the petitioner. I had to come from Abuja to Lagos to look into the matter because the entire students were divided into two. He caused it. They had a problem of friction in terms of who among the officers will survive to command the body. And I request humbly that this commission ask for the report of this problem from the SSS Friendly School, SSS headquarters, and the presidency, SF file. They wrote it. I had discussions with the commandant then in 1994, late. I can't recall the month. It was a serious matter because he was to be withdrawn. But I allowed him for two reasons. He was a second lieutenant at that time. And second lieutenant, when they commit offense, you have to allow them, but you have to know them and nurture them to grow. We all pass through it. Second is because of his relationship with the then chief of defense staff. I, I allowed that to go as a young junior brother. Who was the then chief of defense staff? General Abdusalam and Abu Bakr. And what manner of relationship was he having with him? They are very close. One, his godfather, and then they are close family-wise, always with him. Are you aware that uh, President Omar was arrested in the respect of the 1997 coup? 1997 coup. He said it was not true. But I put to you, with due respect, that in Nigeria's coup history, there has never been any coup with overwhelming exhibits, electronic, print, in the entire Nigerian school history, none compared to that of 1997. And I do not know if I will want to show a certain proof here, one of the small that I tried to manage to keep somewhere to buttress this statement of mine. So, Mr. Amsafa, our question now is in relation to his arrest. Okay, the arrest. First, in 1997 coup, I became the main triggered target, the assassination of whom will now commence the coup. In all the phases of plans, the plans were so many. General Balma is here. In all their meetings, my assassination comes first from the mouth of General Dia. God never allowed it. There are electronics, there are audio and video cassettes to prove this. You have so, this no, here. You have this uh, video. I, I requested the Honorable Commission to produce my bags, to ask the arm, to ask the Chief of Defense Staff, to ask the Chief of Army Staff, to ask the DMI to produce unedited video tapes and audio tapes for Nigerians to hear. So, on question of the arrest of the petitioner, unknown to him, I was in a problem for his sake. 
And let me put it today. He never knew. I know that's why he's attacking me. When it became obvious that General Dia had to use artillery against the presidency, now General Adisa, in his own personal letter to the late head of state, stating how it all happened, nobody knew this. A letter dated 28th, and I hope in due course we shall tender it to this commission. And I hope the background of the letter, my lord, will give a better insight on how the petitioner was arrested. By whom and how? You have the letter here. I do, my lord.